Y'all are gonna believe this. Nobody would believe it. I won't even believe it. First school, one room school, one teacher, and she taught grades one through 12. But uh, all basketball was played outdoors. There was no gym, uh, faculty to have a gym class as far as that goes. And you played on dirt. And we had the old fashioned basketball was sold together like uh, the old fashioned football. Learning how to play basketball, learn how to dribble was really a test because after the ball was old, it was laden with dirt, then all of a sudden there would be a big knot on the side where the laces are. Then you have to figure out how do I dribble this ball? So I never played in, a, in a, actually a gym until I was in, grade, in the seventh grade. The I Am Terrell, my first 15 years I spent there, but it was the first five or six years it was just, uh, it blew you away. The school was grade seven through 12. And you know now, if you said you were going to put school with juniors and seniors, the mamas and dads would go crazy. Oh, I don't want my baby to have all those hooligans and thugs and grown men. Well, you didn't have a choice. So that meant I had grade seven through nine in my gym class. We turned that gym class into the biggest basketball program you ever laid your eyes on. So what I would do is I had all those seventh graders, the tall, the skinnies, the guys that would pass, the guys that would come to practice, the guys that would do all the plus things. And by the time they were ninth graders, they were just about ready to play varsity. But we were so far ahead of the other schools, it was just, it was a joke. I am terrible would never be repeated again. First place won't be repeated again because the social climate is different. Because the people that's gonna make the big money are into the other fields. Well, those fields are open to those of us of color now. But in the 50s and 60s and before then, you're just wasting your time. So what you had in your black communities and your black colleges, you had the best brains in the black community because you were gonna do two things. You were either gonna go and preach or you were gonna teach. Island Terrell was just, a, it was a special place. I mean, it was more special than special, but that act will never be, it will never be repeated. It was a, I always tell the kids when I was in the gym before I get ready to make one of my speeches about something or the other, and the speech was always short because I didn't wanna waste my time talking. When I go to the drugstore, the old fashioned drugstores used to have malts and all this kind of stuff, I said, I get ice cream. I get plain vanilla. I don't want tutti frutti. I don't want a cherry on the top. I want plain vanilla ice cream. Well, of course, that means when you play basketball, I don't want the behind the back pass. I don't want the look away. I don't want the finger roll. I don't want the floater. All I want is plain vanilla. But I would tell them, how hard can you push yourself to be the best? Are you prepared to get up every morning and ask yourself, what can I do today to be the best? And then back it up with that work. They do that, they're home free but it's tough to push yourself. There are a lot of tutti-frutti's out there. <laughs>